Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the sixth day month of March 2023. I am Grace Stoker Sunyakachi. First major headlines. I met goes to court seeks to reconfigure beavers. Don't involve us in your grievances. DSS and T's wants politicians. Governor better commensurate with victims of bandit attack in Zamfar State. We take a she's been right back with details and many more stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermodel Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. The Action People's Party APP governorship candidate in Abia State, Honorable Mascot Uzo Kalu, on Sunday met with members of his party as well as all UK movement and reality organization in Iberi as the governorship election campaigns wind down. This comes ahead of the 11th March governorship election in the state, a poll that will coincide with the state assembly elections. A faction of the APES Ibo Social Culture Organization, or Hanese Ndibu General Assembly Worldwide, has said that the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi is not destined to win the February 25th presidential election. In a congratulatory statement to the president-elect, Bola Hamid Tinibu of the All Progressives Congress yesterday, the Director General Implementation and Strategic Planning, Ohanez Ndibu General Assembly Worldwide, Ambassador Tony, said Obi can fulfill his presidential ambition later, but not in 2023. There are signs that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, would attempt to have its earlier judgment on the bimodial voter accreditation system, PIVAS, overturned by the Court of Appeal. During the weekend in Abuja, a top official of the commission, who did not want his name disclosed, alerted daily trust of the development. The Lagos State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, said on Monday, that it is not officially in talks with the Labour Party about forming an alliance ahead of the March 11 governorship and House of Assembly elections. The Lagos PDP's publicity secretary, Mr. Hakim Amode, revealed this in a statement in Lagos. A support group of the governing All Progressives Congress APC Youth Sentinel has advised the national leadership of the party to zone the office of the Senate President to the 10th Senate to the southeast geopolitical zone to reduce the separatist agitation in the region. In a statement on Monday in Abuja by the southeast coordinator of the group, Mr. Bran Agunane, the group said that in line with the solutions, with the resolutions of the Progressive Governors Forum of the party, that power should between the north and the south. The office of the Senate President should naturally be zoned to the southeast since the outgoing occupant of the office hails from the northeast geopolitical zone. The Sokoto State Police Command and the Department of State Services DSS warned Nigerian politicians in the state on Sunday not to involve them in political squabbles. This was stated in a joint statement by Mohamed Gumel, the State Commissioner of Police, and Yahya Hassan, the State Director of DSS. The Federal High Court will begin its Easter holiday on March 31st. The Chief Judge Justice Toshiho announced the holiday in a statement signed by the FHC's Assistant Director of Information, Dr. Catherine Obey Christopher, and stated that it would last until April 17th. The recent bandit attack that occurred in the middle of the night in Maru Town and resulted in the deaths of police officers, vigilantes, and other people have been characterized by Governor Bello Mohammed as heinous, heartless, and a cowardly crime. In a statement, the Governor's Special Advisor for Public Education, Media and Communications, Zailani Bapa, said that the administration was aware of the bandits' desperate endeavors at the moment to project superiority after they had been depleted of strength. While the foreign scene, Chris Ten politicians in Iraq are attempting to overturn legislation banning the import and sale of alcohol. Customs officials were giving orders Saturday to enforce the ban. It became law last month despite 
opposition. While in sports, former Nigerian international Ifanyu Deze has predicted the court game for the Flying Eagles in Monday's 2023 under 20 Afghan semi finals tie with Gambia. After securing qualification for the under 20 World Cup, the Flying Eagles will be eyeing at his first appearance in the Continental Finals since 2015 when they face with Gambia. And this brings us to the end of the news at 8. I'm very good with about major stories. INET goes to court seeks to reconfigure beavers. Don't involve us in your grievances, DSS and things wants politicians. Governor better commensurate with victims of a bandit attack in Zamfara State. These and many more different platforms just log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dorcas in your country. Have a nice night, Chris. Be safe.